Okay, so this one is on project of our FYP student, final year student. This one is a, a golden melon, eh? golden melon. It's one type of melon actually. So depending on the colors and the different types, it's called golden melon because the when they are fully ripe, so they become golden in color. Eh? So this is one fruit. Is it still growing? So today, I today just I want to show the uh, pollination hybridization. Eh? So pollination hybridization is another some, is another fruit. Some big fruit is also in the surrounding area. So just I want to show you. This one is the male flower. Eh? This is male flower. So many male flowers. So supposed to be male flower is uh, more than three times eh? compared to the female. Sometimes ten times also can. So this is the can see this is the male flower so male flower we can easily identify there is no symptom of uh, ovary eh? so you can see this is male flower see only the flower so inside there are the yellowish that the, the middle and the inside eh? inside there is the this one is the inside this uh, the anther eh? anther and anther carrying the pollen and I want to show you some female flower here. This is supposed to be open. So you can see this is female flower. So this is with the ovary. So this monoecious plant. So monoecious plant is always carrying with the ovary. So for the hybridization or control pollination, we have to bag the female flower before opening. Before opening. So this flower is supposed to, this is uh, close to open and eh? not open yet. So here the usually at the evening time, usually they open the flower this is another one female so this is close to open this one is close to open you can see with the ovary so you can see the ovary here and uh, close to open so before opening we have to bag it if you want to do the hybridization or control cell pollination this is another one this is the female with the female flower with the ovary so from the ovary we can identify we know which one is male and which one is female so this is female so now i want to show how to do the control cell pollination or the hybridization so suppose this flower is about to open so what we have to do now we have to bag it so we have to bag it huh? so i now i want to show you we can use zipper lock bag or different types of pollination bag is available in the market so based on your choice, huh? based on your suitability, we have to do that. So now I want to show you how to do the bagging that one and after that how to do the pollination. So by now I want to show you. Okay. okay. So so from that side I want to try to this is the zipper lock bag so zipper lock bag so this zipper lock bag we can use for the pollination purpose so I want to show this is just we can open very shortly like this and you can keep inside like this the small leaf also cover you can cover so like this then you can just at the one side eh? but be careful you should not hurt the uh, petiole eh? so like this okay so this is the bagging so this is bagging so you have to wait until opening of the flower so when the flower is open uh, suppose uh, now evening time maybe tomorrow early morning or before that eh? because in uh, uh, here usually open at the evening so at the morning time we can do that one so this is the bagging so after that when you do the hybridization or pollination pollination that means if you want to do the control pollination then the we have to collect the male flower from the same this same plant so at the bottom have some male flower so this is the male flower so if we want to do the control pollination so we have to pick up plug this male and we have to do the pollination that on after fully blooming of the female flower and if it is a hybridization so if it is a hybridization then then we have to collect the male flower from the desired male so supposed to be maybe the, any other plant you have have to select as a male so from there you have to bring the uh, male flower then you have to open carefully like that we have to open the zipper lock 
like open that one then suppose this is different plant if i want to consider so just pick off the male and remove the petals huh? carefully remove the petals and we can check whether they have the pollen or not so pollen is not yet available so after a few uh, moments maybe so then after that we have to open because the female when already open so then we can do that huh? then we can do because this this stigma is not yet at the anthesis period huh? this is stigma white color then we have to collect the male flower with pollen huh? male flower with pollen then you have to bring then you have to do the pollination like this if it is controlled cell pollination that means the male from the same plant if it is hybridization then male from the desired the selected male then we can do that then after that we can cover again because it is controlled or hybridization huh? both cases we have to do the bagging again then after that we have to bag it again like this okay and we have to use a tag this is tag with the information the male and female so you have to write the date of pollination or hybrid and the cross in cross pollination and the male plant number female plant number and we have to hang with the pet with the petiole of the flower huh? like this so you have to hang with the information written then we have to wait until fruit setting in the fruit setting successful then we can see the fruit becoming bigger if not then it will be fall down so this is the way by this way we can do the the cell pollination or hybridization in what type of melon it is so it is the, the bottle gourd and the rock melon the golden melon or the mask melon or the what is called the watermelon whatever it's the same same strategy same procedure as the armonosias so that's all about the control cell pollination hybridization in golden melon from the this is our faculty faculty of sustainable agriculture and the field at the uh, and the, the it's the university of malaysia saba here uh, in the sandakan so thank you okay so uh, we have to re uh, remember one thing here though we know the uh, melon all types of melon is also from the cucurbitaceous family and the almonoses that means the male and female flower is different but uh, sometimes the cucurbitaceous family some of the members from the cucurbitaceous family they also produce hermaphrodite flower that means the female they produce also the anther beside the stigma they can produce the anther in some cases eh? not all time but very rare cases but very interestingly i have observed in case of melon eh? i have already observed in the honeydew melon then the uh, uh, what is golden melon so both of the female flower they are also producing hermaphrodite flower that means all the females i have observed all the females they are by burn hermaphrodite so it's a very uh, positive side that means the fruit setting we can expect 100 percent if there is no other effect is here so for this i have uh, i have uh, collected some of the flowers the female flowers and the male so this is the male flower i want to show you so this is the male so the male is always the singular only the petioles only the petioles and inside there is anthara so the single flower we can easily the, the yellowish petals and inside the anther and the anther is carrying the pollen so this is the males so completely male that is no symbol of ovary here so this one is i have uh, collected from the golden melon okay so this one is you can see this is female so female always they produce with the ovary so we can easily identify which one is male which one is female so in case of melon as i have already told that they are by burn eh? by burn they are hermaphrodite i am showing you that during the collection uh, there are some uh, injury of the flower of the petals so i am removing the petals and i want to show you how they are carrying the anther as well eh? they are also producing the anther as well so by dissection i want to show you so you can see this is the 
stigma at the middle huh? and side you can see so i want to i want to remove uh, the uh, flowers huh? i have i want to remove the it's called the anthara huh? so you can see easily so i want to remove the anthara so you can see okay so you can see this is anthara huh? so one so one by one, I want to show you all anther. This is anther. Huh? So all these are anther surrounding the stigma. So this is all anther. Three. Okay. So I have found here three, only three. So, and this is the stigma, little bit yellowish, huh? not fully yellowish, greenish and yellowish altogether. And they are several curve, about four to five curve. So meaning is that they are hermaphrodite male the anther and the female the stigma all together so this is from uh, the golden melon so i have also collected another from honeydew melon huh? and this is very common one so i want to show you so this is the male flower so you can see this is male so male flower i want to show you so only the by removing the petals so we can see only the the anther is always attached with the petals huh? so you can see all this separated anther huh? they are going to three or four huh? mainly three are showing three so we have also collected the three from the stigma so this is the female flower so you can see this is the female from the honeydew so i am removing the petals then you can see okay so better remove by hand huh? is easier okay so you can see i have removed the petals so now you can see huh, easily this is anther this is another anther and this is another anther huh? total three so separately i can show you huh? so all three these are anther and the middle this is the this is the stigma huh? so one two and the three huh? So now we have only the stigma. This is the stigma. So meaning is that this is a very good thing so that we can uh, uh, identify that the melons, especially melon, uh, among the cucurbitaceae, especially melon, sometimes the uh, uh, this is called a sponge gold, uh, a rich gold, sponge gold. They sometimes also produce, but very rare case, and some others maybe. But uh, watermelon, I have uh, tried to check in watermelon, so they are 100% uh, female. There is no male there so only the in case of melon they are also producing hermaphrodite flower so this is the main thing you have to uh, consider so if you want to produce the hybrid uh, the hybrid so we do we need to do the emasculation huh? so before opening the flower we have to do the emasculation then you have to cover that is the packing that is the bagging then we have to collect the male from the desired male plant huh? then we have to do the hybridization if it is hybridization that means the hybrid production or if you want to maintain the self pollination then this one is okay just you have to maintain the bagging so this all about uh, the hermaphrodite flower in melon and how to do the pollination and the hybridization huh? so this, is, this is very important so in that case we have to consider and we have to remember that the melon they can produce the hermaphrodite flower so during the production of hybrid obviously we have to check the flower is a hermaphrodite or the only female otherwise uh, uh, we cannot do the perfect hybridization okay thank you so much